You know, I finally got time to work on my 160 meter loop antenna project. It's starting to cloud up. Hope it doesn't rain. Oh. So, anyhow, moving forward with the project here, I decided I'm going to put my uh, 4 to 1 ballon on top of my tower right here. Pardon me, it's hard to see through my viewfinder. It's bright out here. And uh, yeah, it's going to shoot all the way down here, so it'll be off to a real good high start. So, ballon, the way I mounted it, hold on, I'll make sure I don't roll off the roof. I devised a plan to get this mounted. This is just a uh, one inch thick uh, treated piece of wood. I forget the exact dimensions, but I centered the ballon right on there. Up top here, we have strain relief. Right there, it's just a washer. And pull, it goes right straight through. I'll loosen it up and then the wire will pass through here. That'll be clamped down on both sides. Underneath here, this is just a, a flange mount, floor flange mount. And the screws are just, you know, obviously not long enough we're gonna poke all the way through. So I got that mounted there. And then this is a nine inch nipple. I measured here, I'll show you in a second uh, the reasoning for this. And uh, that's about it. And you know, he's wondering, there's no weep holes on the bottom of this ballon, so I'm not plugging anything up. But uh, there she be. All right, the reason why I did it like this, because at the top of my tower, this is pretty slick. Open, I forgot to close these openings up. See, I'm glad I didn't. So this, yoink, right like that. Won't be in the way if I spin my beam. And there you go, and this will pivot. And there's a big bee flying around me up here. And this will pivot just a little bit if need be. If the wind and the trees whip around just a little bit. So that gives me one straight shot all the way down yonder there. All right, let me hop up on the other side of the roof and show you the other side. Hold on here, I'm gonna pause this. Okay, recording again. Okay, on this side, oh, see I'm busy up here. There's my shed project going on down there. Getting ready to get the uh, concrete poured. Anyhow, now up here, then I took down my Ringo, my crush craft, like I like to call it. <laughs> the old crush craft came down, and I put this a six foot uh, stub. Of course, I went down to Home Depot. The only thing they had either uh, U bolts or U clamps are either way too small or way too big. So I'll have to, uh, you know, get new ones. This is ridiculous. Looks a little bit stupid, but I don't have a choice right now. I'm gonna get rolling on this. And way up here, I have this clamp parachute cord. With a pulley. And this pulley, I think uh, there's a cotter pin right there, which I really like can pull the cotter pin out. But uh, there it is. I'll go way down there. So, ballon all the way down there and do all that weird stringing the antenna wire through the trees. It's going to take me forever. I'm going to come back up, hit this turnbuckle, and then go back to that tree. I did a video how many months ago? A couple months ago. On the layout and right back into the ballon. So there it is, the uh, 160 meter loop project coming along. I don't, I might start stringing the wire through the trees. First of all, I gotta splice the wire. Um, the wire came in DX engineering 500 feet long, so I have to splice on another 50 feet. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna start stringing it through the trees today or not, but a little bit of an update. All right, I gotta get out of here. KP68 up on the roof, 160 meter loop project.